gorgeous ones. This is your girl Dan saying what's up. It is um, Saturday morning. It is about 8.30 here on the Eastern Seaboard and it is raining. Um, so I just decided to do this really early. Um, as you guys may notice, my hair is a little different. I got it braided yesterday, but since I am doing a foundation tutorial right now, I have to pull it back. So, um, so today I'm going to show you um, first the foundation that I'm going to be using and then how I apply it. So first I'm going to show you, I got um, Smashbox High Definition FX Foundation in Medium. And then I also got their High Definition Concealer in Medium. I will be using also my L'Oreal Super Blendable Powder. And, of course, my brushes will be my lovely, lovely Sigma F84, my ELF Professional Foundation Brush, and my Total Powder Brush. So, we'll just get started. I just literally washed my face. So, I am going to... Now, I did get a foundation primer from Smashbox, but I'm not going to use it today. Um, I'm just going to show you just how this one is, because I have another foundation from L'Oreal. But I figured since this is kind of a whole set, I'll just try this out. So, as you can see, nice little pump. So, I'm just going to squeeze out just a little bit, not too much. And then I'm going to take my F84 and just dip and really put it on the four spots on my face. Now, I know that some people put the concealer first, but I'm going to try and see how I look with the concealer actually being put on after I put on the foundation. So I'm trying to work on these dark circles that I have, but Honestly, I don't know. <sighs> Without getting surgery, if it's going to be, you know, really effective to be going through that. So as you can see, I didn't put too much, just enough. Oh, blind myself, badly. So that's my foundation. And now I'm going to do my high definition concealer and shake it up just a little because it's kind of liquidy and then squeeze that out I believe I'm putting caps back on everything after I squeeze stuff out because I really have a habit of misplacing things so the reason why I'm using my um foundation brush instead of my fingers is because I actually prefer to do it like this, like painting a canvas, as opposed to getting foundation on your fingers, but, you know, you can use both, whatever is more convenient for you. I mean, if you don't feel like cleaning your brushes all the time, fingers are definitely the way to go. And just really just tapping on areas that need to be covered. Also, I pick kind of not full coverage foundation because I love my freckles. So I want them really to be shown. So since I put on my foundation, my concealer where I want it to hide so I don't look as tired even though I keep getting told I look tired but not that rough. <laughs> oh, I really do hate that freaking eye gunk. There we go. And then to just 
literally just powder off. It's True Match in W3, which is Ron 3, and I take my big ass. Well, he's big to me, but I know there's a bigger one out there. This brush. Tap it just a little, I don't need that much powder. I'm literally just color my face. And that's really about it. So, yeah, nothing too over the top or overly spectacular, but just the beginning of what, you know, set the palette to do the face. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I, you know, as, I, as you know, I'm just getting started with makeup again, so when I get back into, you know, I'll do like a full face with, you know, different eyeshadows, just I'm kind of waiting on a new palette to come in from BH that I ordered, the 88 Cool Palette, so I want to try with like some really cool colors since spring is coming, so it'll have like lots of greens and yellows, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, um... My apologies for not having too much energy or being too loud today, but my family's still sleeping, so I'm not trying to wake anybody up. So, anywho, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will talk to you all very soon. So, once again, be gorgeous, be wonderful, and of course, be yourselves. I'll see you later. Bye.